Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Finally, the presidency has reacted to the report by the European Union Election Observer Mission (EU EOM). Don't forget that few days ago, the uh, EU sent out their final um, report on what they observed during the presidential election and other election that took place in Nigeria. And uh, according to them, they said that the shortcoming in law and electoral administration hindered the conduct of a well-run and inclusive election and went ahead to damage the trust in IDEC. They talked about lack of transparency and operational failure, which they say rendered trust in the process and challenged the right to vote. That did not go down well with INEC and also uh, with uh, the federal government alongside the presidency. And that's why the presidency has spoken up about the report. Now, according to the news, the presidency has rejected the conclusion of the European Union Election Observers Mission on the 2023 general election, accusing the regional group of bias as it allegedly relied on social media commentaries and opposition talk heads to arrive at its submissions. Recall that the EU EOM in their final report on the exercise that it presented recently found out that the general election did not ensure a well-run, transparent and inclusive democratic process as had been promised by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The EU EOM held that public confidence and trust in INEC were severely damaged during the presidential poll and were not restored in state-level election, leading civil societies to call for an independent audit of the entire process. The widely welcome Electoral Act 2022 introduced measures aimed at building stakeholders' trust. However, the Act's first test in a general election revealed crucial gaps in in terms of INEC accountability and transparency proved to be insufficiently elaborated and lack clear provision for timely and efficient implementation. Those were one of the things said by the report. In its response to the observer's mission position, the presidency, in a statement issued today by Dele Alake, who is the special advisor to the president, special duties, communication, and strategy, maintained that the presidential election won by presi President Bohamed Tinibu, then the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, was credible, peaceful, free, fair, and the best organized general election in Nigeria since 1999. It said that the EU EOM or any other group did not provide substantial evidence that is viable enough to impeach the integrity of the 2023 election outcomes. The presidency pointed out that the group did not even have enough observers on ground to provide adequate coverage to the 176,000 polling units in the country, noting that local observers, ECOWAS, and the Commonwealth Observers Groups called the conduct of the exercise high. It said the country has moved beyond the elections while those not satisfied with the outcome were already challenging it in court. The presidency also queried that Nigerians are happy with the actions taken so far by Tinibu to redirect the country to the part of fiscal sustainability and socio-economic reforms. The same men alleged that the EU EOM final report is a continuation of what the group started in its preliminary assessment, which the ruling party had won against earlier on. And in his word, it read does he say sometime in May we alerted the nation through a press statement to the plan by a continental multilateral institution to discredit the twenty twenty three general election conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The main target was the presidential election clearly and fairly won by the then candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Balamit Tinibu. 
while we did not mention the name of the organization in the said statement, we made it abundantly clear to Nigerians how this foreign institution had been unrelenting in its assault on the credibility of the electoral process, the sovereignty of our nation, and on our ability as a people to organize ourselves. We find it preposterous and unconscionable that in this day and age, any foreign organization of whatever hue can continue to insist on its own yardstick and assessment as the only way to determine the credibility and transparency of our election. Now that the organization has submitted what it claims to be its final report on the election, we can now categorically let Nigerians and the entire world know that we were not on our way of the machinations of the European Union to sustain its largely unfounded bias and claims on the election outcome. For emphasis, we want to reiterate that the 2023 general election most especially the presidential election won by President Bola Metinibu of the All Progressive Congress, APC, were credible, peaceful, free, fair, and the best organized general election in Nigeria since 1999. There is no substantial evidence provided by the European Union or any foreign and local organization that is viable enough to impeach the integrity of the 2023 election's outcome. It is worth restating that the limitation of the EU final assessment and conclusion on our election was made very broad in the text of the press conference addressed by the head of its elect- electoral observation mission, Barry Andrews. While addressing journalists in Abuja on the so-called final report, Andrew noted that EU EOM monitored the pre-election and post-election processes in Nigeria from January 1st to April 11, 2023 as an INEC accredited election monitoring group. Within this period, EU EOM observed the election through 11 Abuja-based analysts and 40 election observers spread across 30 states and the federal capital territory. With a level of personnel deployed which was barely an average of one person per state and wondered how EU EOM independently monitored election in over 176,000 polling units across Nigeria. We would like to know and even ask EU how it reached the conclusion in the submission submitted final report with a very limited coverage of the election by the observers who without doubt relied more on rumors, hearsay, cocktails of prejudiced and uninformed social media commentaries and observations talking ahead. We are convinced that what EU EOM call final report on our recent election is a product of a poorly done Dex job that relied heavily on few instances of skirmishes in less than 1,000 polling units out of over 176,000 where Nigerians voted on election day. We have many reasons to believe the Jundi's election report, based on the view of fewer than 50 observers, was to merely sustain the same premature denunciatory stance contained in EU's preliminary report released in March. We strongly reject in its entirety any nation and idea from any organization, group, and individual remotely suggesting that the 2023 election was fraudulent. Our earlier position that the, twin, the technology aided 2023 general election were the most transparent and best organized election since the return of the civil rule in Nigeria has been validated by all non partisan foreign and local observers, such as as the African Union ECOWAS Common World Observers Mission and the Nigerian Bar Association. Unlike EU EOM that deploy fewer than 50 observers, the Nigerian Bar Association, which sent out over 1,000 observers spread across the entire country for same election, gave a more holistic and accurate assessment of the election in their own report. MBA, an organization of eminent lawyers and an important voice within the civic space, reported the 91.8% of Nigerian rated the conduct of the national and state election as credible and satisfactory. Any election that over 
90% of the citizens consider transparent should be celebrated anywhere in the world. It is heartwarming that INEC, through its National Commissioner for Information and Voters' Education, Mr. Festus Okoye, has come out to defend the integrity of the election it conclude, conducted by rejecting the false narrative in the EU's report. It is also gratifying that the electoral umpires, an institution that is open to learning and continuous improvement, has also committed to taking on board more ideas, innovation, and reforms that will further enhance the integrity and credibility of our electoral process. As a country, we have put the elections behind us, President Tinibu is facing the odious tax of nation building, while those who have reasons to challenge the process continue to do so through the court. In just one month in office, Nigerians appear satisfied with the decisive leadership of President Tinibu and the manner he is redirecting the country to the path of fiscal sustainability and economic reforms. We urge the EU and other foreign interests to be objective in all the assessment of the internal affairs of our country and allow Nigerians to breathe. Hmm, that was a long read and uh, quite interesting. And I didn't expect anything less from the presidency. You can imagine someone who is reporting and also standing in as a special advisor on communication and strategy to come out to say anything that will bring down the um, already established victory of his own boss. You know, his boss has already been sworn in. That's why I say already established victory. It's not possible for him to do so. But I also think that at this point that the court with all the excuse me, evidences that have been presented thus far can do a better job for Nigerians to see if truly the election was free, fair and transparent as Dele Alake has said. Because as much as Nigerians can contain, we have long list of events that took place, especially in the presidential election. The most on it was a case where um, we didn't see the government, oh sorry, we didn't see um, INEC allowing the real-time online, you know, display of the results in the different polling units across the country. That one alone knocked off the transparency expected of an election of that magnitude, which, according to them, was technologically aided by you know the federal government so whatever that had uh, turned out to be let's see what the judiciary will do so that we know whether uh, the report by the european union is actually true or false that's what we would like